Hey everybody, got a bit of an update for you, tell you a little bit about cyanobacteria and treatment methods and how you can learn from my mistakes in using ChemiClean. So I had a big cyano takeover and everything was suffering. So I went to my local fish store, got some ChemiClean, and there's one suggestion that I did not listen to as far as the instructions. And that was to put an air stone in the tank. Because if you don't get all the cyano out and the hair algae out, as it dies, it releases carbon monoxide. No, not carbon monoxide, but it eats up the oxygen in the tank. So basically, you're strangling the coral and fish. So that's what I did. I lost... Zenia survived, of course. My two clowns survived. All these polyps, the Cinularia. These polyps and zoas. An enemy looking bad for a while, but back in action. Replaced Mono with a neon dotty back, had the orchid. Not as aggressive as they say, although the two clowns were in here already. Recordia bouncing back from Dire Straits. Fang Blenny, who's pretty cool. So, I got an air stone finally about after two or three days, two days, and about five water changes. Thought I had enough uh, reaction on the top of the water with my power head. I put it up so it would suck in air at the top, but that obviously wasn't enough. So lost both starfish as well and my conch which I've replaced with a fighting conch, which I don't normally see because he's always underneath the sand. But I did get another sand sifting star and probably the only thing left to add to this tank is the Harlequin star. <clears throat> but everything bounced back very nicely. The one thing though, when you see your polyps or your zoas, they're all button polyps, but anyway, when you see them encase themselves in a membrane or some sort of shell, I thought they were gone, but they weren't melting away. So, just by chance, I, bur I, I blew some water onto a couple of the polyps trying to get the hair algae out, the cyano out, and they started coming back immediately which is pretty freaking awesome. And as you can see, they're completely happy. All of their all the their all the polyps are open and all their hairs or phalanges whatever you want to call them. But they're growing right on to the main rock. All kinds of different colors. Got a cool little yellow sponge growing right here. We'll see what happens with that. But we still have a couple of pockets of hair algae. Wasn't planning that, but now you get to see the tank in nighttime lights. The zoas. There's Flick, the fang blenny. Wife named him because he moves around so quick, which is kind of cool. He's kind of like a torpedo in the water. Eats a little bit of hair algae every now and again. Sally, the black clownfish, she was starting to try to host in the anemone until my screw up with the chemi clean. So hopefully that I'll start back up again. Recordia bouncing back. Sorry about the light. But yeah. You send about spend about sixteen bucks at uh a big box store and get you a little air pump battery operated with an air stone and that's all you need
will like the fish. I'm going to bed, guys. We'll see you next time.